Hi, welcome to my channel where I show you all things Blender. So today we're going to learn how to install your screencast keys because I've had a few questions on how to do this and people seem to just want to know how to do it. So first we'll go into Blender. We'll notice that I'm currently using version 3.2.1. Now, I'll put a link in the description below to this GitHub page. You don't need to sign in, you don't need to log in or anything like that. You can see that I'm not signed in. You just go to this page, screencast keys, and you'll scroll down to where it has download and installation. You click on the release page. From here, you see that the latest version is 3.7, which includes support for Blender 3.0 and 3.1. We are 3.2, it still works. You click on the screencast keys dot zip. It'll download. That goes into my down, oh, that's always good news. Um, we'll just start a general, go to the modeling, the preferences, we'll install and we'll go to where it's download. There it is. Install it. Look at that. It's found it for us. We'll activate it. And then we'll close this. Now, if you click on this arrow up here, that'll bring up a side menu. Another way of doing that is pressing the letter N on your keyboard. You go to the screencast keys and you activate them. And from here, there's a little bit of a bug. Even though it is the latest version, there is a little bug. And sometimes it doesn't activate straight away. There we go. So you can see it now in the bottom corner. So we'll turn it off and back on again. Oop, there we go. Now you can see the screencast keys in the bottom corner. So if I press the letter N, you can see it comes up with the letter N times two, three, four, five, six. Now I want to change that font up a little bit bigger. I usually stick it around 30. Um, I put a, a bit of a margin on it. And what the margin does is that in between letters, it actually sticks a gap, as you can see. Um, I like to put the mouse events. It actually tells you what mouse click you've done. So middle or whatever. Um, I like to show the last operator. So that's like, it's a select operation. So it's view select, you go and toggle edit mode, object mode, that kind of stuff. Um, you can set where you want it in the screen, where you want it the center, the right, or the left, or you can change the area or region of where you want it on the screen. Um, that's just a good, oop, oop. Back to there. Cool. Uh, do different offsets. I like to increase the display time to about five and the events to about 10. So then it's up there long enough that people can look at it and if they need to, they can go back. But yeah, that's it. Version uh, 3.2 used support of 3.1, 3.0. And it works. We can close down Blender. Uh, don't save. What we'll do is we'll reopen it and show you that it's still there. So, screencast keys, just activate it. It's still there. All the settings are still the same. All you have to do is just reactivate it when you open it up. That's it. Thanks for watching.